Welcome to the AHA VTS video training clip on Cisco router housekeeping techniques. My name is Aleem HLE and I will be your host through this uh, video tutorial clip on some of the basic techniques that I feel is important uh, on Cisco routers. I know a lot of us work in the IT field and possibly have a uh, home lab either in our basement or in our bedroom in my case, as well as work in a production environment. And here are, in my opinion, eight of eight, eight important concepts that we should invoke on our devices in order to make um, our, I guess, configuration a little bit more easier as possible. Now, let's go through these eight bullet points here. Uh, the first one I have here, and let me get my proper writing tool here, I have add a host name to your device. While a host name is very useful in identifying the device on your network as well as on ne any network diagrams that you may have. Uh, the next one here is create a local user account and password. Now creating a local user account and password again is a very useful technique by which only specific individuals can have access to that device at any given point in time. Now in some instances you may use what is called a TACX server in order to authenticate um, individuals but in this case we're going to create a local user account and password associated with it. The next one I have here is Enable Secret Password. The Enable Secret Password is a very useful uh, password schema that we can invoke on Cisco routers. This secret password overrides the exec password that is normally used to get into privileged exec mode. The difference between the exec password and the secret exec password is that the secret password is encrypted. Another useful technique that we can use here is to turn off DNS lookup. Now, I don't know how many times that I've typed uh, a misconfigurate, a, a miscommand, or miss syntax on a Cisco router and have to wait for the Cisco router to go through the domain server um, services in order to try to resolve that name to an IP to an IP address and believe me it can range from between one minute to five minutes especially if you have misconfigured syntax more than once so we want to take a look on how to turn off that feature if DNS is not necessarily needed on your network or even in your home lab the next one we have here is turn on login synchronous. A lot of people may not know what this login synchronous does, but in actuality what it does, it allows you to continue writing a syntax without being hampered by some of the messages or status messages that is given to the console menu. We're going to take a look at that. We're going to also add an exec timeout and I put a question mark here because sometimes it could be useful and sometimes it may not be necessary in order to do so. We're going to take a look and see how um, this exec timeout can be useful and not useful. We're also going to take a look at configuring access to the router. Now there's a few different ways to access a router and this is going to tie into the uh, local user account and password. And then we're going to turn on the service password encryption. The service password encryption is another useful basic technique that basically encrypts all the passwords that is on that router. Okay, I have my TerraTerm prompt set up and let's get into this router that will um, that we're going to invoke some of these router housekeeping techniques. As you can see, this is a new, a fresh router that I have reloaded all of the configurations. So basically, there's no configurations here and the status message that comes up here says enter initial configurations. We're just going to enter no. All right, and then we're just going to have to wait a few seconds here. And wait a few seconds here <laughs> okay <laughs> as you can see that sometimes the routers take a little bit longer than expected to um, invoke the commands going through his diagnostic setup going through all of the interfaces that is on this router here so as you can see we're right here at our prompt configuration our user pro our user mode here and we have router now which router is this basically on my production network well technically I really don't know so what I'm going to do I'm going to type in Actually, I'm going to go into enable mode to get into privileged exec mode. Privileged exec mode is identified by the pound symbol here. The next command, I'm going to get into global configuration mode by typing config t. 
Then I am going to enter the host name keyword. The host name keyword is used to configure the host name on this specific device. In this case, I will just want to call it AHA hyphen VTS as the host name for our example here. Once I hit the enter key, the host name changed from router to AHA VTS. The next one here, I'm going to create a local account while still being in privilege exec mode, configuration mode, I'm going to type in the username keyword followed by a word, just happens to be the username. In this case, I'm going to use my name in lowercase, which is Aleem. Then I'm going to hit a question mark. Now, what command we're going to use here, we're going to type in the privilege keyword. Okay, so let's, I'm sorry, type in a password keyword. So we're going to type in password followed by a word. Okay. Now, if we use the context sensitive help, we have three different choices here an unencrypted, a hidden, or a line clear text password. We're just going to type in a password that will be shown in clear text. If we had to use a hidden password, but the number seven to follow, that would be an encrypted password from um, some show run configurations that we have on a previous router. So in this case, we're just going to type in AHA VTS as that password and hit enter. Now that is done. While here also in global configuration mode, let's do the uh, enable secret password. The enable secret password, as I said, is the password that is encrypted that overrides the, the privilege exec password for privilege exec mode. So what we're going to type in here, we're going to type in enable secret followed by the password. And in this case, um, we will use Cisco just to show the difference between the username password and enable secret password. We want to hit enter for that. The next one I have here is turn off DNS lookup. I'm going to type in uh, some jumble command. I'm going to type in my name Aleem and let's just see what happens here. Now, you notice that once I type in my name Aleem, it is trying to translate the name Aleem to uh to an IP address and this stat these status messages pop up on the screen domain server 255.255.255.255 that is sending a broadcast to any devices on the network to try to resolve this name in this case this message went pretty fast but believe me there are times when it takes at least about five minutes per syntax error for the router to catch up to itself and find out that it cannot resolve that name. So in order to eliminate that situation, let's go and go into, con I'm, always I'm always thinking that I'm in um, enable one, well, enable one ready. So let's go into config T mode and we're going to type in no IP, no IP domain lookup. This command here disables the domain server feature. So, okay, that is invoked there. And let's go back again and see what happens. Now take a look at the status message. Message quickly right there at the bottom, just to give you a hint on the next technique that we're going to be using. So I'm going to hit enter again. And now let's type in that mis, uh, misappropriated syntax. So I'll type in my name, Alim again. And you notice this time that it didn't go through the... Uh, the domain lookup as it did before prior to that syntax being added it just automatically said unknown command or computer name so we've done the first four basic housekeeping techniques and let's take a look at the remaining four i have at the bottom here so let's get back to our um our our experimental router that we have here and i'm going to type in password Right, remember that's the exec password, the user secret password that we enabled in one of our four basic um, techniques that we did before. And I believe I typed in Cisco. That gets me to my privilege exec prompt. Now, do you remember that status message that we saw the last time? Let's go into uh, config T. Okay, if I could type it in correctly. Config T. And I'm going to get out of config T, but then type in another command. And Oops, you've noticed that the status message came in and I typed in um, config T wrong again here. But you see this, this, this status.